Yeah, it's like... I recently gone to this effing Digimon mobile game where they're trying to sell this hedgehog Digimon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, God, what's his name? Uh, Philmon? Harrismon, I think it's called. Harrismon. Harrismon's his rookie. Philmon's his champion. Yeah. Yeah, they try to, like, push it so effing hard as soon as I, like, yo... Well, as soon as they start pushing it, it's like... I know what his, like, forms look like. I know his mega is a cool drill hedgehog that, like, shoots drills at people. Ah, I haven't seen his mega form yet. I... I'm kind of off and on about playing it. But yeah, like, just because they're pushing it so hard, I was immediately just like, Okay, yo... Get this guy out of my party. I don't care if he can eventually go Mega. Give me Ogremon instead. Let's do this. Ogremon well, is my new partner. I understand that thought process. And, like, I also was kind of like, eh, I don't really want this guy on my team. But it's, like, it's their attempt to, like, put you in the story. Because it's, it, it, you're the tamer. It's supposed to be you uh, that's in the story. And so... He's your partner, like yeah. Like I he's know. your partner, had a personality and like story agency and everything. And I don't know. I was more accepting of it when I thought about well, he's supposed to be my partner. That that's my character's. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know it's like you know, a big thing. It's like oh yeah, this is the canon partner, and that's why I'm just like okay, get this guy out of my face though. I'm sick of seeing him every time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I swapped him out as, like, my battle partner. Like, Beelzemon is my battle partner. Aw, oh, you have Beelzemon sick. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't... So I didn't get, um... I didn't get the initial release of Beelzemon, so I stopped playing for, like, months. <laughs> uh, and, and then they came out with another event where it's like, Hey, it's Beelzemon, but it's Blast Mode. And I was like, alright, I will... <laughs> I will try to pull uh, for Beelzebub Blast Mode, and I pulled him, so it's like, oh, well, all right. Yeah. And then I and then I continued not play for a while. Yeah, like, I've got, like, so I think I have, like, you know, like, five or six Digimon right now that can, like, get to Mega, and, mm -hmm. like, they're all just weirdos, and I kind of love it. Yeah, it, it takes a while to train your party. Yeah. To mega. Uh, okay, Stefflemon's cool. I ha I haven't I hadn't seen his ultimate form until just now. <laughs> Stefflemon is cool. And then we got Rasenmon Fury mode. What the? <laughs> Hold on. This is like a dark evolution, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Because I don't know if like Fury mode's a thing. I don't know if I've seen it. <laughs> Well, this is, yeah, well, it says next, it said next form, uh, fury mode. Alright, let me see, uh, was this actually? It might be a, it might be a, like a special event version of him or something. Okay, yeah, that's like not something I've seen yet. Yeah, yeah, that looks like dark evolution. Okay, there's, Ro there's Rossinmon. Yeah, Rossinmon proper. <laughs> That's that's pretty cool. He's got he's got drills for quills. That's awesome. Yeah, and they all like just come out. A eh? shoots there was a big drill at the guy and it does multiple hits. If we saw him, if we see him in like mainline Digimon games, I'm totally down for it. Yeah, like, if they bring this, like, back outside of the mobile game, then sure, that's fair. I just hate him in this context. <laughs> it's weird, cause, awesome. like, cause I'm into Agumon. Like, I've learned to accept War Greymon over time. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, this is just like, it just hits that nerve, you know? <laughs> yeah. I want to see, uh, Nopal Pumpkinmon also become, like, a mainline Digimon. Yeah. Yeah, it's currently no, I've, oh, it's cool as heck. Yeah, currently I've got like I finally managed to like Tidamon, which is like Ogremon's mega. Yeah, I have a I have a Digitomamon working towards that. And like the rest of the labs currently like effing like 
Kabuterimon because, like, yeah, I have to have one that's not, like, you know, there yet. Effing, like, Myotismon, Sylphimon, Effing, jeez, what's the Edamon? Yeah, yeah, that's the team. Because <laughs> it's like Tidamon, Myosmon just clean up so much, and everyone else is just sort of there. <laughs> But yeah, like that should lead to some fun stuff eventually. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know why I kind of fell off the game so hard. It's just yeah, it's kind of mediocre, honestly. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't even I don't even engage in the fights. I just put it on auto battle and let it go. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, like I'll this... probably. This is just how most mobile games are. It's just, yeah. it, they're always, like, turn-based games with, like, an auto-battle function, and it's like, well, just let yeah, it go. Yeah, pretty then. much. I mean, that said, the uh, uh, Madoka Magica one that they killed uh, also was, like, a turn-based thing, and I played it a lot. <laughs> yeah, like, at least there's, like, a new event right now. Get, like, effing Mirage Galgamon's burst mode and stuff. And I said, it's like, you know, Galgamon's forms are pretty cool. I could do that. I might yeah. go for that. <laughs> like, I like how we're talking about, like, we're still talking about Digimon, but it's not, like, <laughs> what we're supposed to be talking about. It's the wrong Digimon. <laughs> Um, Mirage Galgamon doesn't even exist yet as far as like the show is concerned. He's yeah. we're not even at like that season yet. I just I mean, really it's, like yeah. Mirage Galgamon. It's Savers, right? He's from Digimon Savers? Yeah, I believe so. Are you looking him up? No, I I've got the uh <laughs> I pulled up the Oh god, what's this game called? Rearise, that's it. Yeah. Which which I wonder uh I wonder if it's just stupidly English and it's like it's supposed to be realize. Ah jeez, that's probably it. <laughs> so it just ended up being called Rearise and it's like eh. Oh my gosh. That's totally it. Uh, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um <laughs> Yeah, let me pull up my team real quick. <laughs> I have Philmon, Digitamamon, Beelzemon Burst Mode, Anjuamon, and Noble Pumpkinmon. Oh heck current. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if you can get Noble Pumpkinmon anymore, because I think he was like a pre-registered bonus. Oh, that's a shame if you can't. <laughs> they might have run an event in October when you where you could get him, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Digimon <laughs> So yeah, like, I've been trying to make a Galgamon deck in the Digimon card game. <laughs> uh, we're, we're not getting on to our tangent, are we? <laughs> we probably shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I will just reiterate How long that we've been live. Huh? We've been live around 52 minutes. Yeah, we've been going about an hour without actually doing the actual podcast, which probably... <laughs> and 40 of those were spent talking about Nightmare on Elm Street and the boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, it's a good thing I don't really have much to talk about. Oh, uh, GOG sucks. Don't support them. GOG? Good old games. Uh, they're like a, like a no DRM... Uh, oh... Like, uh, <clears throat> sorry, a no DRM, like, game provider, kind of like Steam, uh, mm. which is great. Unfortunately, uh, they sent out a tweet earlier today saying that they're not going to sell a, a horror game called Devotion. Uh, oh. That, have you heard about it? Yeah, I know exactly what you're going to get into. Yeah. So they were going to, they announced like today from what I understand that they was going to sell it on their store. And then they were like, Hey, earlier today we said we were going to sell this, but uh, no, we're not. Never mind. 
And hey, uh, th they said due to uh, hold on, let me go to the Twitter real quick. What's their crappy statement? Uh, earlier today, it was announced that the game Devotion is coming to GOG. After receiving many messages from gamers, quote unquote gamers, we have decided not to list the game in our store. I have a sneaking suspicion that the gamers in question are all Chinese. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. So, like, I'm not sure how much you know about this story. They but, hit a Winnie the Pooh joke in the game. Yeah, like, an unused, like, file for, like, basically concept art, basically. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, like, I, thought it, I thought it was in the game. No, it's like, it's not even in the game, it's just hidden in the files as, like, an unused asset. Basically, uh, as, like, a placeholder. Oh, that makes it even worse. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, GOG doesn't deserve your support uh, to all who hear this. Um, because they are thoroughly uh, bowing down to China's whims. They also, uh, I'm assuming you watched last week's Castle Super Beast cast? Yeah, where they talked about Monster Hunter. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> so, that... like, if GOG doesn't deserve our support, does that mean that Monster Hunter does because of the Chinese? No, see, here's the thing. They made the stupid joke, uh, that's on the director of that movie. Like, screw that guy. Apparently he... He's responsible for one for an actor getting horribly maimed in some other movie. Uh, so uh, or so says Pat, but yeah, I think I it was believe... on like the sub Monster Hunter specifically because there's like you know some big stunt they did. Yeah, I uh, yeah, and I don't I don't believe that Pat would just lie about something like that. Yeah, uh, it's also the guy who's behind the Resident Evil live action film, so you know you're in for quality, ding. Yeah. So, whatever, that sucks. Uh, where I was going with that is a bunch of people... Uh, if you look at Monster Hunter on Steam, uh, Monster Hunter World... Uh, I don't know, well, maybe it's changed since last time. Uh, but all of a sudden, it went from, I would assume, overwhelmingly positive to mixed. Guess what? The Chinese review bombed Steam. Uh <laughs> A review bombed Monster Hunter World over the movie. What the crap? Here's the thing. Monster Hunter World is owned by Capcom, a major game company. Guess who probably doesn't give a crap? <laughs> yeah, like... Was a Monster Hunter World one of their most, like, profitable, like, games ever? Oh yeah, Monster Hunter World sold like you wouldn't believe... Yeah, so, like, all this does is diminish the power of your review bombing. Because, like, they've already made so much money that who cares? You just make it look like, oh, review bombing is even less effective than it already is. I'm sure they were just hoping, like, oh, we're, we're China, there's a crap load of us. I bet we can make something happen. And then Capcom's just like, whatever, man. Yeah, they've already got their money. Yeah, it was at mixed. Uh, Monster Hunter World is now back up to very positive. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, so it's good like job. good job, China. You did it. <laughs> so you couldn't even like overpower the positive reviews for like as long as they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> what the I, I, I'm looking. I'm I'm just scrolling through the reviews and uh... okay. Uh, sorry, this is bad people negative reviews. There's a positive review, and I think it's ASCII art of uh, the Chinese presidents. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Oh, that's super funny. And then there's two negative reviews and one person's like, oh, uh, don't understand how anyone likes this clunky combat. Uh, <laughs> stuff forces watch stupid cutscenes, story sucks. 
I agree, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's worth downvoting, like giving the game a bad rating. Also, the other guy spat at the game. Anyways. <laughs> when do we get Azros in the game so we can mod it into Winnie the Pooh? I don't know who that is. I'm going to assume it's a bear. It's a big armored bear. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please. Please, I want to see it. <laughs> I'm sure... Uh, well, you know what? People turn Devil Joe into, like, a giant Yoshi. Apparently the modding scene for Monster Hunter World is pretty powerful. Oh, that's that's so powerful. Man, like, I kind of wish I had on, like, PC now, because, like, I don't know, maybe I'll just get it for the mods or whatever. But, like, if you just, like, I never really considered the, like, idea of, like, oh, we just turn monsters into other things, but yeah, that totally works, doesn't it? Yeah. Also, they, also, here's the thing about mods. Uh, for I don't know how they got this to happen or what, like what makes it happen, but whatever mod you have installed, other people can see it. <laughs> like it's not just localized to you. Uh, Cookie just says you're under tabletop RPG PD BT. Oh. oh right, yeah, I should probably change that. Yeah, we are. Thanks, Cookie. Uh, let's see. This is da da da. Right, because I forgot to, like... Uh... Doing good. Yeah, oh, there we go. The... Speaking of, like, tags and, like, uh, categories and stuff, did you see uh, that they took away the blind playthrough tag? Wait, did they? Yeah, because it's supposedly offensive to blind people. Ah, oh, that's so dumb. Hey, guess what? I, I was born legally blind. Guess who's <laughs> not offended by the term blind playthrough? This is where the blind community gate keeps you because you're not actually super blind. You just have a vision impairment. I'm. My eyesight's <laughs> bad enough that I'm not allowed to drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Be able blind glasses i'm blind with glasses <laughs> it's not it's not really true my right yeah. eye is all useless though oh oh it's just like one eye basically i mean so i can see out of my right eye but i'm really just mostly looking out of my left eye like all the time <laughs> okay wow i actually didn't know that yeah so, uh, so like, 3D stuff doesn't work for me. Yeah, it doesn't my, really my, work I, for anyone. I, three, you know, like, 3D stuff works for people. Like, like, three, <laughs> like, uh, like, movies, 3D glasses or whatever, and, like, the Nintendo DS, uh, Nintendo 3DS's 3D effect doesn't work. Uh, my right eye, my right eye is not strong enough to make those things work. So now you watch, like, a rerun of, like, some older, like, 90s film on TV where someone, like, you know, does the thing where they, like, throw a bunch of dirt at the camera for the 3D effect and it goes in slow motion. Now it's extra useless. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> not only is the 3D effect non like the actual film, even if it was, it wouldn't work. Yeah, I've been to 3D movies and, uh... Like, everybody else is like, oh, wow, well, and I'm just like, I don't, there's nothing happening. <laughs> like, it's Spy Kids 3D or whatever the heck. It's like, oh, I extended his arm through the screen. I guess is what's supposed to happen. I didn't see it. <laughs> Man, I, I feel like I've seen, like, one 3D movie in my life that was actually in, like, 3D or whatever, and it was Sharkboy and Lava Girl. <laughs> and that movie has, like, so few actual instances that I just never bothered with the glasses because they sucked. Yeah, it's it's kind of stupid. Uh, <laughs> the problem with the 3D thing is, like, if you do stuff to overtly show it off, then it looks cheesy and bad. And if you don't use it at all, then what was it there for? <laughs> Man. So yeah, we've gone like an hour and three minutes without <laughs> talking about the episodes. 
<laughs> oh yeah, also we need to play the Digimon card good at some point. I just want to get that out there. <laughs> uh... I know I keep like pushing you, but it's like, oh, there's so many good cards now. Lucymon combos are sick. I'm sorry, but I'm just not really interested. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. So Digimon, Digimon. <laughs> the actual show Digimon. <laughs> Do you remember what this board Digimon's name is? No, nope. me neither. It was it's a weird name. We'll just call it the Boar. Pikimon. Oh, Boring Mon. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, like, it's... Well, he does is pretty exciting, honestly. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh... He's a big force to be reckoned with. So I oh, don't God. actually remember where, like, the first episode is, so you'll have to help me out with that, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so... Where, where it starts. Uh, where, like, the first episode ends. Oh, uh, okay. Well... Because I think it 22... ends before they fight him... Yeah, 22 and 23 are basically one big episode. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, like, the if I remember right, it's like, the basic pros of this episode is that it's like, you know, the kids are just sort of, like, hang out, they're trying to, like, figure things out and stuff, and then you, let's, like, hear an earthquake, and it's like, oh, that's, like, sounds really loud, that could be kind of dangerous. And well, then... yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, go man. ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just saying, I was going to bring something else up, but what you're saying happens first. Yeah, alright. So it's like, there's a lot of time cast spent on being like, oh, there's this big earthquake coming. Oh, geez, this, like, you know, this sounds kind of like a big deal. And the kids see that it's actually a Digimon appearing, and it's just a massive boar monster. Wait, no, like, yeah, before this happens, actually. Yeah, I forgot, like, Henry finally catches on to the Chinese Zodiac thing, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, so before, also before that, uh, there's little moments uh, with the main characters interacting with their families, and that's kind of important. Yeah. Marginally important. But yeah, Henry, like, walks across a poster with, like, all the Zodiac uh, animals on it, and I brought this up before, and I was like, shouldn't Henry, like, know this? And then I think you were, like, you were, like, questioning that. You are like, should he? And it's like, after the podcast was over, I was like, is that racist to think that just because he's Chinese he'd know about this? And then I realized something. No, it's not. Their years are literally themed after the animals in the Zodiac. Like, yeah. it's part of their culture. <laughs> yeah, like... I'm not gonna be like, yo, does that jerk who's like, oh, how dare you did it, did it, did it, but it's like, I do a pop that's like, I think he actually is, like, I don't know, like, the fact that he's, like, an immigrant can muddies that up a bit, right? Maybe he could have moved when he was really young or something. Yeah. I, like, I, don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm willing to, like, just assume that it's, like, you know, like, it wasn't actively, like, on his mind until he saw the poster, right? Yeah. I'm just, I don't know, yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of glad that I came up with the realization, it's like, no, it's not, it's not, like, racist to think that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I don't think so. Yeah. Man, how great would it be if, like, yo, know, if he did even find the poster as, like, someone else, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So yeah, we finally get the realization that, oh yeah, they're Zodiac animals. So, uh, and they fought, like, five or six of them. Yeah, they go through, it's like, alright, we fought the rooster, we fought the mouse, uh, the ox and the sheep appeared as, like, a pair, and we dealt with them. We found the snake, we beat the tiger, so I believe that's, like, six so far. And you're like, okay, what's left? It's like the monkey, there's the boar, there's the like the dog. dog, the um, dragon is somewhere probably. Yeah, yeah, dragon's one of them. And there's 
uh, what are the other ones? It's like, I think there's like Rabbits one. Yes. And Ooh. there's one left. Uh, we did Ox. Horse, right. They fought the horse. Okay, so they fought some before. Yeah. yeah. And no cat because screw that thing. <laughs> I actually don't know if the cat's canon or if it's just something they made up for Fruits Baskets. <laughs> but in my mind, the cat is pseudo-canon. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no cat on the Zodiac. Because <laughs> it's like, I think in stores that it's like, oh, it's the race, but like the cat, like, you know, cheated, so we got kicked out or something. Uh, I don't know. I uh, know. That's probably complete bullcrap for all I know, but I don't care. Like, there might be a kitty at some point. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Jerry comes up to the group and she's like, Hey, teach me how to play teach me how to play the card game to Kenta and Kazu. And they're like, like they get obsessed with like trying to trade her for like good cards she has. And then Rika yeah. shows up and she's like, oh, she just grabs her cards and takes off. <laughs> oh, okay, you had that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I love that she's like, oh, yeah, like, I'll learn how to play a card game. And they immediately start trying to scam her. <laughs> yeah, seemingly. It's like, oh, what's this, Lucimon? That's a super rare. I need that for my purple deck swipe. <laughs> Also, looking at the way she's holding these cards, I can't help but think that they they would just slide right out of her hand. Yeah, they, like, honestly, they probably had, like, the deck as, like, a 3D model it kind of looks like. Yeah, and maybe. they just put, like, onto the animation on, like, a like layer above it, basically. Because <laughs> that is kind of an elaborate, like, you know, backing for the cards. Yeah. Uh, nothing really important about her learning the card game. It's just something to bring up. And then they realize that yeah. there's one more kid amongst them, and it's the weirdo kid from the previous episodes. Yeah, the weird what's his face. Oh yeah, there's something I probably should mention. So it's like the card game kind of is slightly important because of what happens at the end of these episodes. Uh, kind of. Because it's like, okay, yeah, maybe this can be a thing now. But yeah, Monkey Kid's just kind of there. <laughs> and he just sort of screams Mon at them again and runs off. Yeah, it's just kind of what he does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, like... I mean, because of audio mixing and like not wanting to blow the viewer's ears out, like... You don't really notice it, but it see it seems like he's yelling this very loudly. Because <laughs> everybody <laughs> covers his ears when he does it. Yeah, like almost like he is some kind of digital power or something. <laughs> I gave it away. The scene where he jumps down onto the street and then turns his head 180. Yeah, he does that a lot. He does that a couple of times this episode. <laughs> He just, like, turns his head completely backwards like an owl, and I think it spins back around the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> At least in my mind it does. Uh, Everyone's like, what a strange boy that is. Yeah. What I really wonder is, like, why did Roman not warn Rika about this? Because last episode she was like, oh, there's something up with that child, and she just never followed up on it. They went after him, and then they did, that never concluded with anything. <laughs> yeah, she just, like, came back just like, yeah, I guess he was just normal care or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, also, uh, Impmon is just, like, hanging out in the gutter trying to recover. Yeah, I think I shoved that to- yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Jumping Impmon's... all over the place, because I don't remember the actual- uh, series of events in order, but yeah. yeah. No, this is fine, because this is the episode, basically. <laughs> yeah. Impmon's... So, I get that Impmon is, like, 
he doesn't want to let anyone know that he does totally want to hang out with them or whatever. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I don't get why he's hanging out down here. I get the impression it's like he got his butt kicked so hard that he's still, like, you know, recovering from it. Like, he's still wounded, right? Yeah. Also, probably his pride. Yeah. Like, an ultimate giant horse monster with a horn nearly murdered him, just straight up. Like, he was seconds away from being turned into Data, and, like, he only survived because everyone else helped him against his will. Yeah. That emo mon is one of my favorite Digimon. <laughs> like, he's he's such an emo weirdo, but he's also so good. He's not emo, he's Sundere. <laughs> Aren't Sundere kind of emo? Well, I guess not really. But they can be. <laughs> Listen, man, if you have a Sundere emo after you, that's hot water. That feels like a red flag. <laughs> that feels like a place you don't want to go. <laughs> but yeah, Edmond totally wants to hang out with everybody, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And now, and now he's in a gutter somewhere trying to recover from getting totally wrecked. Yeah, so like, I think the board just shows up and everyone's like, oh jeez, how are we gonna stop that thing? So like, immediately it just starts charging towards the city. And it's like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> And Yamaki's immediately, immediately like, fire up the thing that causes more problems. <laughs> fire up the problem maker. Pretty much. Yeah, Don, that's the episode title. <laughs> the kid spins his head around 180 in front of a bunch of people on the street. The people in the street are totally just background elements, so of course they don't react to it. But still. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many people that see this kid just pull a complete owl, and they're just like, yeah, whatever. They also see uh, all the kids' Digimon actively running around and doing things, but that doesn't matter considering what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Considering what's about to happen, it extra doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the big, like... The big thrust of this episode is like, okay, we have to stop this giant boar before it destroys the city, which it's in the process of doing right now. Yeah. Also, I talk, I talk about it like Giamon's eyes dilating and he gets or contracting and he gets super, like, he like goes feral or whatever. He seems really mad this time. Oh yeah. Like Giamon is extra angry about this one in particular. <laughs> yeah, because it's like attacking the town. It's trying to hurt his friends. I mean, even before it actually shows up, like when it's just trying to realize. Yeah, it's probably because it's like such a big signal, you know? So he's like, Maybe. oh boy. It's like, it's the difference between, you know, having like a deer run through your yard and your dog just starts barking and having like a person out there. <laughs> Yeah. I just thought I just thought it was kind of I don't know maybe interesting or whatever isn't the right word but it's just like he's so mad about this one in particular yeah several approach immediately goes ultimate to fight this thing yeah they and... do attack it a lot as champions and it does literally nothing and then they're like okay we can't keep doing this yeah, we have to actually, like, treat this as a serious threat. And they do. And then it's like, oh no. Like, this thing's, like, such a high tier of ultimate, you can't even. By the way, this is when literal magic happens. Like, it's... yeah, Henry, like, to get to ultimate. Yeah, because he just gets the blue card, doesn't he? Yeah, Henry, Henry basically realizes... Oh no, not yet. Not the magic doesn't really happen yet, but when does the magic happen? <laughs> it's when they use the cards later. 
And Henry's just like, it's our belief in the cards that powers them or whatever. I mean, he's and not they, wrong. I know, but it's just like, it's like, okay, it's just magic now. Yeah. I mean, it was always, always has been. It, yeah, it always has been, but it's just kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I I would love it if they just like have that realization like oh it's our belief in the cards and Takao's like all right give me five minutes and he just draws a card that says you win and it's just a picture of Exodia and he's like all right I mean, scan this through the digivice yeah like th the kids are holding random cards we don't even know what's on them because it doesn't matter. <laughs> they like close their eyes and they're like, I want to protect my family, I want to protect my town, whatever, uh, for each of the kids. And like the cards turn blue and then they get ultimate. Yeah. I was like, Takao just comes back with a card and it's just a super crappily drawn picture of Omnimon. And he's like, Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> it actually works and they like fuse two of them together. <laughs> <laughs> they somehow end up with like chaos mod or something. <laughs> oh, that'd actually be kind of great. I wish they did that. That'd be kind of. <laughs> that'd be so dumb, but so fitting for what this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like. So they all start talking. They start blah blah. They start talking. They start attacking the boar's ultimates. <laughs> and it's like not doing anything. And Yamaki's like, okay, we need to get rid of this thing. <laughs> and let's like, open up. Let's open up Shagai again. Yeah. And Henry's specific. Henry's dad is specifically like, oh hey. Don't do that. My kids' Digimon are, like, right there. You'll kill them, too. And he's like, nah, this is the only way. <laughs> Let's kill them all. Yeah, just screw it. We have to take out this thing. And honestly, this is, like, probably the most, like, of a point he's had all series. Because it's like, oh, yeah. Like, if this program only affects digital beings and there's a big Digimon about to, like, wreck the town... Then, yeah, not much else we can do about that. Yeah, and it is absolutely devastating the town. It's, like, the the worst co co uh, collateral damage we've seen, I think. Yeah, like, probably in the entire franchise so far, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm thinking back, it's like, okay, like... My Osman had, like, a Digimon take out Tokyo Tower, but, like, effing Mel Greymon saved it because ultimates are nuts. And he just, like, yeah. lifted the tower back up. Yeah. Uh, effing, like... Four Digimon is devastating, like, several neighborhoods. Yeah, I'm trying to think bad. It's like, alright, my Osman, like, he was trying to, like, drain a bunch of people at once, and that's kind of screwed up. This thing's just leveling buildings. Like... Also, it's got some stupid attacks. Yeah. So, yeah, Bormon just fights by, like, spitting out mud, and you get caught in the mud, and it, like, sticks you to the ground. It also has two different types of energy blasts. Ones that fire off and explode, and ones that weigh you down like a anchor. Basically, Lead Bullet from World Trigger, which is a reference nobody's going to get. Yeah, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> but but yeah, like... he fires an energy blast at War Growlmon, and he it just pins him down for a while. So that's what I'll mention really quick. World Trigger is great. And lead bullet's just a skill where you just fire a shot from your gun that goes through shields. And if it hits you, it doesn't do damage, but, like, weighs, like, creates, like, a mel weight on your body that just, like, weighs it down. So hmm. it's like, if they shoot you in the arm, the only way to get rid of it is just cut your arm off. Which is fine may... because of world trigger mechanics, but yeah. Amazing. Um... <laughs> Also, during the uh, during the Ultimate Evolution sequence, we see 3D evolution followed by 2D animation followed by 3D animation, 
and it's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it really right. puts War Gralmon's evolution and like epic Rapidmon's forms into perspective when there's like a super good 2D form like in between them. Yeah. But I've I've gone off so much about how much uh, I don't like the other two ultimate forms. <laughs> I'm sure people are tired of it. Um, Wait, and yeah, which they, other two? Like War Growlmon and Rapidmon? War Growlmon and Rapidmon. Those yeah, are the okay, ones I don't yeah. like. Because Talmon feels like they got right, I feel like. Oh, Talmon's cool. Yeah. Vika. Vic, Vicaral. Vicaralamon. Vicaralamon is the boar's name. Okay, I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I didn't remember it. So yeah, they're trying to, like, fight the board. It's not working. Like, Yomaki activates Shagaya. He's like, no, we have to take them all out. And that's when the that's when 22 ends. Okay. Alright, so I'll, like, switch over to 23 then. Because, like, I think I have, like, a shot of, like, the start. Uh, but yeah, like... I don't know, thoughts on episode 22, I guess. It's the setup for a big boss fight. Yeah, fair enough. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. They, like, take out the weird, like, goop with a paintbrush. His Talmon's yeah. weapon. So, she uses some kind of, like, talisman or, like, sigil or something, and it clears it. Yeah. And like makes more sense. she beats it with a paintbrush. Yeah. And you see it's like, you know, like or Gramon gets hit by the goop and just cuts through it, so it's like, alright. Goop's not that big of a deal except for Rapidmon. But seems <laughs> like it covers a wide area or something. Yeah, but here's the thing. Rapidmon is supposed to be rapid, you know, fast. Yeah. Rapidmon just kinda stands there and takes it. This thing was introduced by, like, teleporting all over the map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rapidmon should not be a slow Digimon. <laughs> but no, Rapidmon just sits there and takes the goop and can't move. Has to be freed by Talmon. <laughs> yeah, so, like... <laughs> so it's like Shagai just activates, and it's like, oh, it's sucking all the Digimon up or whatever. It's like trying to destroy them or something. And, like, Talmon just activates this weird, like, barrier around her, because Talmon can just kind of do whatever, <laughs> because magic. Talmon's the support. Talmon has support abilities. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because it's like... Because obviously it's like, you know, War Groundmon's like the powerhouse of the group. You know, he's the big attacker. Like, yeah. Rapidmon's kind of like the ranger slash rogue, I guess you'd say. Rapidmon's supposed to be the fast one. Yeah. But it's not. And anyway. Talmon's <laughs> like the support mage who has like spider climb and all this other weird stuff. Why did I say spider climb? That's the most like useless thing for these characters ever. Considering they can fly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talmon does like Talmon doesn't have wings or anything. Talmon just flies with magic. Yeah, just don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, this makes me wonder, like, if ultimates can just fly, can like Zudomon just float around? <laughs> no, I because I don't think because I can believe Talmon can fly. Talmon yeah. is the magic Digimon, so Talmon flies around. Yeah, yeah, actually, but yeah. Zudomon think about like. I think we actually saw where Grumon does have to, like, jump off buildings and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so and, yeah. And Billy gets a certain upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> That's not in that series. Uh, and then Talmon is magic, so Talmon flies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, although it doesn't take much to fly. Like, War Gra uh, Metal Greymon with his destroyed metal flimsy wings can fly. Yeah, because he has wings. Yeah, he has wings so he can fly. End of discussion. Yeah. yeah, it's like, generally it's like, I feel like by the time you get to Mega, like, everyone can just fly around no matter what, you know? Like, that seems to be the rule. If you can't, you're usually strong enough to not need it. Yeah. I'm trying to... 
are there any megas that like can't fly actually now that I think about it? Cause like Probably Vicomon. I would think so. But at the Since same time, like fly? Yeah. I know. But yeah, so like yeah. you'll have machine drawn probably can't. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> I don't know if it fired its cannons backwards. <laughs> All right, that's a bit of a different discussion. <laughs> it's like I mean, you... it would, I mean, it would just fire them backwards, and they'd act like jetpacks. <laughs> Machine draw just fires his infinity cannons nonstop to fly around. Keyword he's, infinity. He's just floating there as they keep firing at the ground and just obliterating everything down there over and over again. <laughs> I mean, it, that sounds like a very machine drumon thing to do. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah, machine drumon don't give a crap. It's machine drumon. <laughs> I love that we've like created a situation where he'd like he'd be using his cans to get up and stuff, just shooting his cans into the air. Maybe he needs maneuverability. I don't know. <laughs> who would probably do? Who would be able to do it more efficiently than machine drumon? Chaos Dramon. Chaos Dramon's just shooting his can on the ground to fly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Machine Dramon's evolved form. Oh, right, yeah, I thought you were trying to, like, Chaos Mon for a second, though, like, you know. Chaos Dramon. Yeah. That's remember, magic, like... Remember, anything that's a dragon has draw in its name. <laughs> I'm just, like, imagining, like, Omnimon's just, you know, like, oh no, there's an enemy above me, but I can't reach them. And he just points the cannon at the ground and takes off. Well, no, Omnimon could just fly. <laughs> but if he couldn't, right? <sighs> this is a weird <laughs> hypothetical we've gone into, it feels like. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, this isn't even a mention that like Chaos Dramon slash Machine Dramon, they have like the the uh like the grappling hook claw thing. The uh like Met metal metal uh, metal Graymon's grappling hook thing. Yeah, uh, where it can just extend from, the claw. Yeah, it comes from Machine Dramon. So does or is it the R way around actually? Uh, you know what? You're probably right. It would it would have come from because yeah, metal, metal metal Graymon is like an early prototype stage of Machine Dron. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Because if I remember the lore right, it's like Machine Dron's buy is just made from parts of like a bunch of different Machine Digimon. And it's like, oh, this is like yo, the heads from like Giga Dramon and like the cans are from Mel Mamimon and like yo. Know, the bodies from, like, Meltaramon stuff. Like, I think one of his arms is, like, from a different thing. No, like, yeah, one of his arms is Gigajamon, or, like, one of those, like, variations. Yeah. And, yeah. like, Machine and... Dramon is supposed to be, like, the ultimate machine Digimon. Yeah, and Andromon's shoulders are, like, the knees or something. <laughs> Just super goofy. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, so... Right, so I think Shagai just starts doing things. <laughs> and they're like, oh boy, I have a lot of things here, but no of them really match to me. Alright, yeah, whatever, that's fine. But yeah, so like, they just have this blue light that just appears and just starts sucking everything in. And they're like, oh crap, this is not good. And like, Talmon's, you know, keeping Rapidmon safe and all this stuff. And they're like, no, we have to like, we have to find some way to stop this. And... I forget how they stop Shagai. Uh, they don't. Right, yeah, d yeah, like, backs up or something, doesn't it? Guramon stops it. Guramon, that's... M Makuramon. Oh, the it's, monkey, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. I, I couldn't remember his name, so I had to go and Google Monkey Deva Digimon because I I thought it might have been like I think I think in Japanese Saru is monkey, so I thought his name might have been Sarumon, 
But that just brought up Saruman from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Isn't Saruman the best Digimon, though? <laughs> Sarum. Yeah, because like. Yes, yeah, Saru in Japanese is monkey, so I thought its name might have been Saru, but <laughs> I was wrong. Man, isn't. Is Saruman like the big guy? Yeah, I think it is. No, that's yeah, Sauron. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, uh, Sa Saruman the wizard. It's, uh, yeah, so Sauron would be Saruman's mega form. Yeah, so surprise, the weirdo kid is a weirdo monkey. Yeah, uh, he's. Also. I, I kind of love his voice in Japanese. I, yeah. I don't know what it I don't know what it is. It's deeper than I thought it would be. I don't know. I just kind of like it. Yeah, he's, he's such a weirdo. Like every second of things on screen after he reveals himself, he's just looking like weirder and weirder. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Makura Makura Mons, uh, I like him. Should we take a second to address the go back to monkey meme? I people in what in what way? The meme exists. I address it how. Just the evolution line and like you know, gets to humans and it's like, oh no, too far, go back to monkey. <laughs> I want to be monkey. <laughs> but yeah, uh uh, Makuramon reveals himself to be the kid and he's like talking to Yamaki and all of his dudes and he's basically like y humans ain't crap basically. Yeah. Does he communicate to them in like binary again? Yeah. But I got the impression or maybe they were just reading off his message. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but he was saying a bunch of stuff to the kids and then he takes off into the sky and throws a ball at the shag eye hole. Yeah. Also, he just grabs Calamon and goes for yeah. it. Yeah, he grabs Calamon and he's like, hey, we need this to evolve from taking him, and he just leaves. Yeah. Just, you know, it makes complete Me sense that that'd be their objective, honestly. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Henry's dad has seen enough of uh, Yamaki's shag eye nonsense, and he runs out of the lab. Yeah. Uh, and oh, a, yeah. Co a couple of... Hmm? I also want to point out that it's like when the monkey escapes, you see a big, crazy bird Digimon behind him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah Henry's dad um, has decided he's seen enough. He runs out of the building. A couple security guards, like, you can't leave, like, you, uh, for some reason. I don't even remember. Hold on. I'm, like, right at the scene. Let me rewind it real quick. What do they say to him? They're like, hey, stop. No, they're like, we're the middle of stuff. And he just, like, judo attacks them. What they say is extremely vague. It's unauthorized actions are prohibited. Yeah. Like, and the guy's he's... just trying to leave the building. Uh, but, yeah, these security guards rush him. And I'm like, oh, man, how's he going to get out of this? Completely forgetting that he knows martial arts. Yeah, so he just takes him out. It's like, oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Meanwhile, Takano's having like an existential crisis for some reason. Yeah. I think... Existential's not the right word, but like... Yeah, he's like... He's like, like oh, he got, he turned into middle ground on and now it's like he's gonna forget me or something and i thought we did this already yeah that's because we did and we got over it and now they're doing it again and he says something like what's the pull of evolution if it just makes our friends so scary or something and it's like eh, may not the best point but you know and Henry's like, well, they evolve for the very specific purpose that they are our friends and they want to protect us. Yeah, like, they're trying so hard, though. And Henry just also, sort of, yeah. It's also, we we kind of passed it, but they did the cards or magic scene already. Yeah. They did. You know, we've talked about that, so it's fair. But I just... 
bring it up because that's uh, what the image you post uh, you've got up is from. Yeah. When he's like, oh yeah, if we don't believe in the cards, they don't do anything. But if we believe in them, they're really strong or something. And then he and Rika scan like the sh- the same card. Their Digimon start glowing and they just break out of the goop. Yeah. And then they have the, then uh, Henry has the little talk with Takato, and Takato runs to the battlefield screaming. <laughs> So, like, I have, like, I guess he's just doing more energy or something. I don't know, it's a weird having scene. So, again, we've we've kind of established this thing where, like, Takato or anyone really can, like, fight, like, one and the same with their partner. Yeah, because, like, Gralmon's, like, you know, like, being weighed down by the board Digimon's attacks. And Takao just, like, yells at him. He's like, Ehh! And, like, Gralmon's, like, Ehh! And he's like, Ehh! And Gralmon, like, fights through it and wins. Yeah, middle, middle Gralmon starts doing that thing where he's doing the same things Takato is. <laughs> and, like, Takato's screaming the entire time. Yeah, like no words, only anime screams. And then I and then I think Rika and Henry start screaming also. Yeah, but they're not. Feels... If they're not like mimicking the moves of their Digimon or anything, so they're just standing there screaming. It's so goofy because it's like it, it's really silly. Like Talmon's like a sorcerer, so I don't like this doesn't fit as well. Here's the thing. Uh, imagine if Rapidmon was a more cl- a close combat type of Digimon. Because Henry is also learning martial arts. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. So, like, he could do the body sync thing that Takato does and, like, literally fight as his Digimon with, like, martial arts. Yeah. You know what? Like, Henry should have gone, like, the other Terriomon. The other Terriomon, like... Ter- no, it's like not true. Yeah, the black cherry your mon, whatever it's called. Lobomon, yeah. Lotmon. Lobomon's a wolf. <laughs> BA should have gone like Lotmon, which is like the black terrier mon. Cause like the champion form of that Digimon is an effing ninja with arm oh. blades. And we that would have made it. way more sense. Yeah, it's a Ruimon. Yeah, and he, like, you know, you get to this point, and it's, like, Antilamon, and it's, like, okay, well, yeah, of course, you know, he'd, like, be able to fight with it, because Antilamon's a close fighter. Like, it fights with its weird, big, like, lumbering arms. Yeah. Yeah, then you'd have, like, yo, know, when we meet the Rabbit David, then that could have been Rapidmon. It could have been, like, oh, yeah, this thing can, like, fly around really fast and shoot at you. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if Teruimon actually existed at the time. I don't know if it did, but like I don't know. Uh, Teruimon's first appearance, seemingly D Power 3.0. Oh, it's in Tamers apparently. Did the like Hurricane Touchdown movie come out before this? Yeah. Huh. Virtual pet deep power Lotmon. Okay, so I think it was like a. I think Teruimon existed in like a Tamagotchi form. Okay, so they could have totally done it. Yeah, it existed. But they wanted to push Galgamon for obvious reasons. Yeah, Gar- Gargamon. Sorry, Gargamon, not Galgamon. Galgamon's a like effing boxing dog. And I love him. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm a little disappointed now knowing that Henry could have had Teruimon. <laughs> Although, eh. There, there's a reason he couldn't have had, uh, what's her name? An- a- Antilamon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and no, you just Antil- switch that out with, like, the other one. <laughs> Antilamon's a date. <laughs> Yeah, just have the David be rapid mod. <laughs> like, why not, right? 
oh, I'm just watching the scene where Takato's screaming and Metal <laughs> Grandma breaks out of like the energy blast and he gets up and he's not like roaring or something. He just kind of goes. Rrr. Yeah, like, this guy growls a little and Takato's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this episode kind of silly at the end because, yeah, Takato starts screaming and then Metal Grandma. Uh, Me- yeah, uh, War Ground Line just beats the board as you want. Man, how cool would it have been if, like, Henry ultimately got Cherubimon? That'd be pretty neat. It's like, oh, no wonder you're the last to get a Mega Form. Yeah, okay. When, when Henry and Rika are, like, screaming, their Digimon aren't even doing anything. They're like screaming as Takato and War uh, War uh, War Growlmon push the boar back. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So does, does this imply their screams are powering up War Growlmon? Maybe. <laughs> I would not be surprised, but that's so weird. Power of friendship or something. The know. power uh, of Dragon Ball Z vocalizations. Pretty much. It's just a generic anime power, really. Uh, it's, yeah, they it's so much goofier when like the person screaming isn't actually getting stronger. They're just making something else get stronger. Yeah. <laughs> well, imagine if you saw like Vegeta just start screaming and Goku's power level goes up. <laughs> yeah so they like they just sort of beat the boar Digimon through like anime (laughs) because anime (laughs) oh my gosh and like what avatar are this is this like okay now I evolved our human career is no longer near god okay yeah that was earlier Oh yeah, it's that <laughs> shot of uh, Makar- M- uh, Makaramon Makaramon while he's still uh, a kid. <laughs> Makaramon just looking super weird saying some cryptic crap and he just escapes with Kalamon. <laughs> and they're like, oh, that's not good. Yeah, we should probably stop that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Henry's uh, dad refers to the Digivice as an ARC. Right, yeah, that's a thing. Not A-R-K, A-R-C. Yeah. So it's a it's a thing that he was aware of. Hmm. <clears throat> Man, like... And we learn, a, learn more about that in the next episode. <laughs> How weird will it be if it's like, oh, like, I think Henry's dad was one of the kids in O2 or something. One of, like, you know, the Digimon tamers from across the world. No, because, I mean, I've told you this already, that, uh, the tamers doesn't exist in that same universe. I mean, like you say that, but I'm watching the show and it's like, yeah, no, there's there's potential connections to be made here, it feels like. It's really not connected. Yeah, so... Either it's not connected, or the kids from the first two seasons are seeing all this nonsense going down and they're just not helping. Yeah. I would not be surprised if it's like, you know, like... Maybe Ty's out there somewhere, but, like, he doesn't have Agumon, so who cares? He can't do anything about it. Well, like, this takes place before, uh, the first season. Like, it takes place before Agumon comes back from the digital world. Like, he's just still there, you know? Because, nah, like, they normally can't just go back and forth. That's like, yo, that doesn't just happen, right? There's not even reference to, like, the kids at any point. And, like, a show like this would love to, like, throw in the fan service to get uh, like, more toys and whatever sold. Uh, it's, 
was it was there something like g gundam or something it's like oh yeah like goes the entire series just following these like you know different like you know country gundams for the tournament and at the very end stuff goes down and suddenly the wing gundam is just there <laughs> It's like all the other Gundams from different series just appear out of nowhere to help with the final battle. <laughs> I mean, that, <clears throat> from what little I know of Cross Wars, that happens in Digimon, which is kind of why I know that Tamers doesn't exist in the same universe. <laughs> Man, that's, that's gonna be a weird one to get to, because, like, you know, now we're, like, we're going through this in such a way where we have proper context for everything. So if effing, like, Charlotte or, like, one well, of the three brothers with the crab mar or something shows back up, then it's like, okay, yeah, I know who they are now. Because <laughs> we did that episode. We know about that little girl who has effing the Ma Chrome on. <laughs> But yeah, so Monkey gets away in the end of episode. Yeah. And he escapes with, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Calumon. Mm-hmm.